hello how welcome back to my channel so a few weeks ago i posted on my facebook group regarding assisting to draft a pattern and someone commented with a picture of this red off shoulder dress so i am going to make an attempt to draft this pattern it's just an illustration i'm going to be using an a4 size paper so vesna this is a vesna wedding dress so they're known for this off shoulder huge sleeve but unfortunately i am not going to be sewing this dress i don't have an occasion where i can wear this dress too so i'm just going to stick to showing you how i will normally draft the pattern like this so if you're interested stay tuned and watch to the end to get all your drafting materials ready, your ruler, eraser, pencil, tape, we need a tape, we need a tracing wheel. Tracing wheel is a necessity here. Your pin, your scissors, and let's get started. So I'm going to be using an A4 paper for this illustration. So you need to fold your paper and trace your fitted dress block pattern. If you don't have a fitted dress block pattern, you watch the video on the screen it will help you guide you on how you can draft a fitted dress block pattern so we need to fold our pattern paper to trace just the front you just did the, um, the front dress block pattern you use the front dress block pattern to get the back we need two front um, and we need a back so in order to get the other front and the back you pin the pattern papers together just like I'm doing right now you pin your pattern papers together make sure you fold your pattern papers we need a full front and a full back also so you pin them and you trace you have to use your muscles to trace because it's like three pattern papers folded together so you need to press down so it reflects on other on the other pattern papers now we're done tracing with the tracing wheel we need to trace with our pencil use a pencil because you're gonna be making mistakes and you want to erase your mistakes so here we're gonna have two fronts and one back you make your adjustment to the back the armhole and the neck that is all so you keep the back outside we'll come back to the back we'll have to, we'll make use of the front so you label your pattern paper i always label my pattern paper so i don't confuse myself so you spread it wide open and you trace the you trace with a pen you trace the shape you continue tracing the shape with a pen because the shape will also reflect at the other side so you just trace that out now you have to label your pattern right side and left side because we have like an overlap for the top and we also have overlap for the skirt so you have to trace the right side and the left side just to be sure next you cut you separate yeah you separate the top from the skirt because we're going to be drafting that separately so we're going to start by drafting one part of the skirt that's the outside part of the skirt that has the pleats so now at the right side, from the hip line, you can go up one inch, two inches, depending on how um, you want it. But I think one and a half inches or two inches will be appropriate for that. Then at the center, you can go up 12 inches, depending on the exposure you want. You can go less, you can go down. Then you connect those two points to the other side, to the left side of the pattern to create that um, slant next you cut out your pattern next you can use the right side as the uh, the outer skirt to get the inner skirt measurement so the measurements are equal Once you're done cutting 
the skirt that's the inner side of the skirt you just keep it aside because that's all for the inner side of the skirt then for the right side as the outer side of the skirt we'll have to add our slash line so if you notice there are three um pleats there the outer side of the skirt so we'll just create three pleats line you just eyeball it and know where you want your pleats to be so i'm just going to create three pleat line then cut the lines then place on a fresh pattern paper to retrace so you can spread open your slash lines by um one and a half inches or two inches so don't forget to um include your gray lines you will need that so you keep your sketch straight on one side so from the bottom there you see i drew a line just to put that bottom side of the sketch straight so it doesn't like fold over you need a straight part of the sketch to be straight oh gosh i hope you understand this then you sell a tape then you fold in just to put your sketch back to the position it was to put it back to the real sketch shape and you make your cut i think the video is faster than the <laughs> the voice over so just watch and get the idea so once you're done you cut out the shape of the sketch then you spread open Take out your pins and you spread open so i use like a coloring pen to color the the line the slash lines opening so i can see the results and know how um the extent of the spread so i'm using cellar tape to close the um, slash line so you can use this one as a facing for the right front why you create the facing for the left side with the left um, front so we are done for the bottom part of the dress that's the skirt we are totally done so it's time to focus on the front part of the dress the front the two front no yeah the front and the not the two front just one front and the back so first thing you need your bust distance or you just get the midpoint of the waist if you don't know your bust distance just map the midpoint of the waist and connect that point to the arm holded then also you get your sh the midpoint of the shoulder then connect it to the um line once that is done you mark out your bust apex so usually bust apex is, um, is one inch from the arm holded then you mark out your dart my dart is one um half inch half inch depending on your dart my dart i use half inch half inch because i have a really small um breast and my tummy is not that big so you do the same thing for the you get the midpoint of your armhole you mark so this this you decide on how ex the exposure you want so for me, I will go down one inch from the midpoint of the arm holder because I want a little bit of exposure. Then you mark your dart, which is half inch, half inch. So you need to trace, use the tracing wheel to trace every adjustment you make on the side, on that side, to reflect on the other side of the pattern paper. So whatever adjustment you make here, you have to trace that. So don't forget to trace all adjustments you made to reflect on the other side and you use your pencil to retrace so it's feasible so this is a corset you need the, you need it tight you need it really tight so you don't need to add all the one inch that allowance at the side you can just use half inch because the corset you need it to be very clingy you need to accentuate your your curves your boobs need to like pop out a bit and your waist need to be like really tight so you just use like half inch, then for the whole one inch, then you create your sweetheart. So the sweetheart from that dart is just connected to the armhole. Then the other side, you can, the other side of the, the sweetheart, that's the one to the center front, you can go straight V. 
just using your ruler to just go straight down to either the under bust or one inch below the under bust depending on the exposure like i said for me i will go down one inch below the under bust line or one and a half just depending on how you want your boobs to pop so you just mark that out and you trace don't forget to trace all adjustments you made so it reflects on the other side then you use your pencil to make those tracing line visible so we need to make adjustments to the back too because we need the back to get the sleeve and you need to create the sleeve like to sweet so you spread out the back pattern then you mark your zipper allowance usually zipper allowance is one inch so add your one inch and adjust the neck you don't need the top part but we need the top part to create the sleeve so then we need to create the dots so the back has that on the skirt and it has a zipper so we need to get you need to mark out your bust distance or you just get the midpoint of your waist then you created that all the way to the armhole depth half half inch half inch on both side then you also uh, mark out the the that allowance just make it half inch you don't need to like do the one inch for that allowance then for the that other uh, skirt part you can go down four inches five inches or six inches if you check the page the instagram page you see that the that is a little bit low so it could be six inches it looks six inches to me but i will go for five inches i don't want it on my butt i have a big um booty <laughs> so once you're done making this adjustment you cut out the skirt and put that outside that is done for the back skirts so you label your skirt skirt you know you're going to cut it in fold and you're going to cut two but for the facing so now you cut out the shape of the back because we need that like i said to create the sleeve so now the other adjustment you know it's um a lace back so for the top part you can go mark in one inch and you go all the way down to the um side that's no need for creating anything there just one inch in because of the lace then for the top part if you want the back part to be a little bit slanty you can just go down at the side um one inch and you draw a slant line that is it don't forget to create a modesty part for the back you need a modesty part i'll coach you if you want me to coach you on how to make these if you want a video call then you have to pay for it but if you want me to chat you up on how to um sew the pattern fine I'm here for you uh, you chat me up go to my Facebook group and we can create a chat there and we can talk so now you also cut the shape for the front parts just like so and you um, add them up together at the neck okay here you have to decide where you want the lap the front lap to be easy from the bottom that's from the weight from the waist up four inches or five inches so you can go up four inches and you just do the lap the, the curved line that i just drew in order for me to place my front pattern straight i drew a line just to keep it straight then pin it you can pin it or you can use the cellar tape just to keep it together so it doesn't move then you join the neck make sure the neck uh, aligned together just like so because of the slant you create at the shoulder the shoulder won't be aligned together so you now continue with that curve the, the overlap curve the sweetheart curve you continue by creating the sleeve you connect that line just watch i don't think i'll explain better but you can see what i'm doing so you decide how 
big you want your sleeve you want your sleeve to be four inches five inches it's pleated but you have to know where to place it you want to place it from the back down four inches you want to place it five inches so you have to decide and you create your sleeve don't forget to get the center of the shoulder you just cut that out then you create either four inches or five inches like i said then you create your sleeve just like so so you create your sleeve and you have to trace out your sleeve i told you at the beginning that we'll do we'll do a lot of wheel tracing so make sure your pattern papers are lined together the fresh one then you trace out the sleeve so we're going to create adjustment to the sleeve later on so let's just focus on doing um creating the the front and the back so don't forget to create your lap your front lap curve okay so now you can label your pattern know how many you're going to cut out the facing and everything you cut that out you put it aside then you cut the front don't forget we're cutting the lap it's an off shoulder but the off shoulder will lap in order to attach the sleeve i'll show you that later using the pattern paper and you can chat me up facebook and we can um, work on sewing that together so in order for me to show you how this is going to lap i would retrace get i'm going to retrace the pattern so i get the other side of the pattern piece So watch how I lap the overlap or lap the patterns you see this is how it's gonna come together so you need two pieces just label it you need two pieces then you need your facing and whatnot to sew so it's time for the sleeve I think this is the last pattern we're gonna be creating here the sleeve so for the sleeve remember I marked out the center of the shoulder so you're going to mark that, that out and you are going to, uh, from there, you're going to create two or three slash lines because of the, the way the, the sleeve is, you know, the sleeve is like um, dripping, um, falling. So you're going to create the slash lines and you're going to spread. Please label your pattern so you don't make mistake. So I drew a line, a curve line, it's like a guideline to ensure that my patterns are straight not straight curvy straight okay yeah curvy straight so you're gonna um slash you're gonna spread if you want it to be too droopy you can slash spray by three inches two inches depending on how heavy you want it so you're going to create another slash line to for the pleats yeah for the droop you create slash lines at the center three slash lines then for the other one so those lines i created is just for me to align them properly when i'm um, spreading those other um straight lines just for me to align them properly while spreading so always label your pattern so you don't make mistakes so you can use two or the two or three of those lines i i think i added so much lines just to make sure one line is like the same and you trace and this is your sleeve so i am going to show you like something with the sleeve i'm just going to show you how you're going to work with the sleeve so you pleat your sleeve depending on how the the length you want that sleeve is it four inches is it five inches you use remember i told you that four inches or five inches then you start with the back you have to notch why you cut you have to notch to know where you're gonna be placing all that so this is how I will put the sleeve I'm just showing you this is a pattern paper this part, the paper doesn't even want to like bend so but if I were to like create this pattern I'll first do like a mock up like um, use a cheap fabric to first create the pattern and see if it fits so you remember the sleeve you look at the sleeve very well you see that the use needle and try to like 
do the pleating well to be more um to be like more pleated <laughs> to have an english word for that so that's all for the pattern so i'll suggest to use a mikado silk fabric or a tick silk fabric so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video bye bye